he didn't really leave me much of a choice standing there in front of me. He finally managed to corner me, told me we had to talk. So I ran away, but he chased after me. He wouldn't let me go. Never mind how I was feeling. I never noticed how imposing he was until then. We need to talk. No, you need to talk. I'm happy to move on. I don't have much of a choice. I loved chatting with him online where, where no one would see us. He keeps talking, words flying everywhere, some hitting me, most just flying by. He wants to give it a go. Why can't I just relax? No one has to know. But I say nothing. I stand there, staring at him. His lips are moving, but I've gone deaf. His lips, his hands, everything about him. But I don't say anything. Of course, I'd just love to relax, not worry about what the others would say. But he's too close, always hanging out with us, always joking around with Carly or looking at Evie. Evie looking back at him. You know, I, I want to shout, don't! <laughs> He's taken. But I can't. I want to kiss him again. But that can't happen. So I stand there, saying nothing, wishing we were just strangers again.